The next sentence is going for my childhood English teacher. On your entire channel, the title and the thumbnail is the importantest. Importantest. Alright, so in today's video I wanted to show you how I'm making a thumbnail, but there are so many how to make a thumbnail videos on the internet that I got discouraged a bit. I started clicking on all of these videos to see what these can offer. And to save you a couple hours, all of these people are using Photoshop that needs not just a basic skill, but also a monthly subscription. Unless you're going the Romanian way. Well, to skip all of this, today I'll teach you how to make a great thumbnail using only your phone. Intro. You know, if you're only talking about the thumbnails that I made only with my phone, I think I made some pretty good ones. But let me just highlight this one. I'm extremely happy about this thumbnail, and not just because it looks good, but it was made in less than 5 minutes. Obviously, if you want to see a video of that, you can watch it after this one. Alright, well, I was waiting all day for the darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And I had some time to think about the thumbnail. And yes, the idea in my head is great, but I might find some obstacles that I need to figure out to get to the end result that I want. Only because we are taking the picture with my phone. You know, for years now I'm making a lot of thumbnails and a lot of different arts on my phone. And if you put in the time, after a while you'll be able to, to create a lot of cool pictures, just to laugh on those pictures with your friends. And, and I think that's how a hobby becomes addictive. Now, I can tell you more theories like this, but let's talk more work, so let's just jump into it. Step 1. Text. Alright, well, similarly to yesterday, I'm starting with an application called SparkPost. It's hard to believe, but I'm using this application almost every single day. This application helps me out with any post that needs a text on it. You have a bunch of backgrounds, you just select one, you crop it, and you can put on the text that you want. After you have the selected text, just make sure that everything looks good and boom. I guess now comes step two. Well, I guess it's step two, beer. Now step three. Step three, taking a photo. This might look extra hard, but trust me, it's not that bad. As promised, I'm not using a big fancy camera. I'm only using my phone, but I'm using that in a pro mode. You know, because I'm a pro. <laughs> no, but actually I'm doing this method because this way the picture will look exactly how I want it to. What you can see here is that I already have the camera, which is my phone, on the stand. And I have a red light on my right and a blue light on my left. This is only just because of the style that I'm going for. But after I have all the settings set up, I take the picture. 4. The hardest step. Edit. At this step we're gonna use an application called PixArt. If I need to do any Photoshop style jobs on my phone, this is the app that I'm gonna use. The only big problem of this app is that once you're done with your layer, you cannot go back. You will need to build up your picture like, like an onion and you will need to make sure that you don't skip anything because you cannot go back to the layer. As you were seeing previously, I was using an already downloaded background. This is why the red and blue light was important previously, so I can match the scene. The more realistic this picture you want to be, the more effort you put in the cutting. I went pretty fast with it because I want to put extra effects on it, like a flare. And people's attention should be on the phone. On the phone and on the note on the phone. Now if you like the results, you can just stop at this part. But I went a bit further, but I think these two steps will take this picture to the next level. Alright, step 5, finish. For this step I'm using Adobe Lightroom, and in here the only thing that I will do is to crop the picture to make sure it looks how I want it to. And after this is done, I just put a final style on the picture. And I went with this. Save. This thumbnail was made on a phone. <laughs> and then here it is. The art that my mom made and the art that I made. <laughs> Outro. 
Well, it's Thursday and I'm still in the game with my daily challenge and saying goodbye is always hard but if you want me to record something just let me know, leave me a like button in the comment section below and forget subscribing, just watch another one of my videos. See you in the next one. Sebas!